Chapter 7 The Sequence of Satanic Evolution Not enough has been said about Satan. Law Enforcement Agent Tom Wedge Page 36 The Satan Hunter The repertoire of evil has never been richer. Yet never have our responses been so weak. So the work of the devil is everywhere, but no one knows where to find him. Page 3 and 9 The Death of Satan How Americans Have Lost the Sense of Evil The spirits have come out in the open. They have initiated an assault in ways that a generation ago would have seemed unthinkable. Page 61 The Coming Darkness While we were quite accustomed to revelations from God concerning the future, whether immediate or remote, from the time of the inspired writer, we must not be startled by the thought of revelations from God concerning things in the past. Should it be thought strange that God who knows and reveals the future has also been pleased to reveal certain things which took place in the shadowy past? Shadowy to us were creatures, but containing no shadows for him who is light and in whom dwelleth no darkness at all. Page 53 the Invisible War. Here in the middle of the first section of this book, I need to bring an unveiling that deals with the man behind the curtain. Satan is either too weird for some to think about, or he's just too scary to look at face to face. If he didn't exist, then the full roots and fruit of radical evil is laid out at the feet of man. And that includes your toes too. Some will live in denial, but other self-affirming intellectuals will cry out with powerful reason that it's impossible that the devil is real. All the while, the sitting front and center with a weird grin is the fallen cherub. He gives the first applause in the hall of the half of brains. The one we are talking about is 2 Corinthians 4 The God of this age has blinded the minds so that they cannot see. Ephesians 2 The ruler of the domain of the air the spirit who is now at work in. 1 John 5 and the whole world is under the control of the evil one. Join me please in taking a look at ancient scripture as it reveals not just the origin, character, and methodology of this stealth warmonger, but his active and coming agenda in the affairs of the whole world. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8, we have a situation, one that is local, but typical of what's happening worldwide right now. It's the secret power of darkness, supernaturally operating among Ezekiel hundreds of years before Jesus comes the first time. Take a moment to read Ezekiel chapter 8. Here are some of the factors. God is there and does know the presence of evil and what it's doing. Real old Luciferians are revealed as they live in super secrecy, summoning dark spirits and revealing in hidden rituals. They are part of a long chain of serpent worshippers 
who have inched their way right into the center of God's city. A fallen world of people are all around living, working, and dying. None are aware of this dark presence that operates right in their midst. They continue to be unaware of Satan's schemes. Those who did not see what was going on are the targets of this underground movement and recruitment is ongoing. Most do not see the shadow government, shadow religion, or shadow powers that were operating. They may have a feeling, and there may be rumors, but they have no idea there are Luciferian worshippers in the middle of the city. Those who were given the insight and a heads up were only able to see and know by the supernatural power of God. Dark presence has dark powers to cloak their activities. For now. A prophet was there, but without the aid of the hand of God, even he did not know. It is very clear that God sees and wills to put an end to radical evil like this. But there will have to be ready and willing individuals who will allow God to show them what is there and what to do. I always remember, until the time of the rise of Antichrist, the secret forms of direct serpent worship, the summoning of demons, and the long line of servants of the Black Flame have been, are, and will be mostly hidden or shrouded in a secret power. Until the rebellion that opens the door to the unveiling of Satan in human skin, Homo Satanus happens. When this does occur, the largest manifestation of the domain of darkness will arrive right here, in the face of all humanity, and reign for a short time. It's all just around the corner. Running Surveillance We got tired of running around in circles as we tried to protect the federal officer's wife. She was a high-powered chosen one with sub-personalities that continually set us up and kept us searching in the wrong direction for the perpetrators. Mary would tell us one thing and then the sub-personalities would tell us another. We kept getting phone calls to our offices by the coven that told us to back off and whatever plans we made, it seemed that the coven knew. They were running surveillance by having other watchers watch our house, follow staff members and get information from her sub-personalities who were watching and getting information from us. Mary's sub-personalities who were coven loyal and others programmed to retrieve information would call the coven members after Mary had been with us. Those personalities would then tell everything we were planning. Mary had other chosen ones uh, that can use psychic abilities to feel what we are planning and where we were stationed. It was really uncanny how many times when we were following her or watching her apartment that she knew. Sometimes she called us and even drove to where we were parked to let us know she and the coven knew where we were. Though we learned the hard way at first, we learned what to do. God does give us countermeasures. We began to pray for her abilities to be blocked. We also stopped sharing our plans in front of her because of the sub-personalities who were listening. Then we placed a recording system in her apartment for 21 days that would be voice activated. At the end, we got the tapes and every conversation. The primary culprits were her coven loyal sub-personalities. She even had a small recorder herself that had a tape on it with a male voice. She would call our offices and play the tape. 
It was the one that warned us to stay away from Mary, that her blood and power belonged to the circle of dominion. When we played the tapes in front of Mary and her listening sub-personalities, a new one we had not talked to before came up. This one was mad, but defeated, and told us how much they were playing games with us and preoccupying our time. The Satanic Playbook I have told psychologists, pastors, and police officers we can't understand this SRA MPD issue without the reality of Satan's existence and his agenda. It's not what you believe, however Satan is real. It's what they, criminals and satanic crime, believe that makes them dangerous. That phrase, that phrase was the one Tom Wedge of law enforcement repeated so many times. Most have no idea of the existence of dark powers, covens, and satanic activity, but not because it's not there. Father Jeffrey J. Stephan reveals in his book, Satanism, Is It Real?, that there may be a hundred thousand covens in the United States. I have no doubt this is a low number. I break down the cover-up and awareness of all this underground activity into five categories. One, public cover-up. Many have an idea but don't want to know the details. The details and facts are too awful and gory. So just ignore the reports and don't think about it. Maybe it's just a rumor, or it will just go away. Even law enforcement teaches officers in the police academy that they should not report the satanic details of this kind of crime. They say it will only create public panic, so keep the information buried and quiet. Number two, professional cover-up. There are those in psychiatry, education, and progressives who think the devil and demons are made-up stories of fearful, uneducated societies of the past. They tell victims who were reported these stories that it's just illusion. One psychologist I listened to here in a seminar told the participants to not talk to the sub-personalities. It only strengthened their existence and empowers them to stay around. Another psychiatrist wrote me a letter telling me not to mix psychology and religion concerning this issue. Another one says, Tell the victims that memories of satanic ritual abuse are a delusion. Number three, religious cover-up. There are those who are very versed in the Bible and believe that Satan is real, but only in the religious sense that the old devil just teases believers and is an undetectable annoyance that you can't nail down. I had a man send me a letter stating that to talk about the devil only glorifies him. So, I guess that means that the Bible glorifies the devil since it speaks so much about him and reveals so much about this secret power of darkness. You may have to get rid of a third of the entire Bible to do this, or just willfully stay ignorant of it. Number four, perpetrators cover up. Drug runners and child sex criminals are masters at cover up, secrecy, and hiding in plain sight. We know there are more active drug dealers and sexual perverts than the number of those who've been caught. Perpetrators of satanic ritual abuse and crime are without question masters of masquerade, deception, and cover-up. They have the active presence of the father of lies supporting them. Secrecy is the law of underground Satanism. Threats of death Retribution and severe punishment await those who tell. Number five, 
Number five, satanic cover-up. If you believe the Bible, then you know what he and his work have done in supernatural secrecy with real supernatural power. God alone has revealed who and what this evil one is all about. Jesus himself comes and pulls back the veil on existing dark powers by his sheer presence and ministry. God has come to reveal who, what, when, and the where of this radical evil. I will emphasize in this book that God, Christ, the Holy Spirit, and the Word of God give the only accurate unveiling of this act of evil. It's vital to be knowledgeable and very aware of this menace. 2 Corinthians 2 In order that Satan might not outwit us, for we are not aware of his schemes. Servant Warriors Some are ready to know and then do something about it. Ezekiel was one of them. Many books have been written to us about this subject by now, but nothing brings the impact of this act of evil more than dealing with it face to face. Ezekiel was given a supernatural look into the substructure of radical evil. I will deal in detail with this in the fourth section. As in Ezekiel 8, radical evil was there and is here as never before in human history. God knows every inch of what's going on and looks for those who will be open to knowing and doing something about it. To get a heads up on the devil and his playbook, you can read books like the many volumes of Jeffrey Burton Russell's work on the existence of the devil in public history. You can read The Franklin Cover-Up, The Satan Hunter, Secret Weapons, Is Satan Real?, or a hundred other books that I listed in this work. But the best and only accurate work is in the scripture of God that is given. Hebrews 2 Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him to whom we must give account. Daniel 2 He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. The Satanic Playbook Exposed by the Book If you know what somebody else's plan is, you have a real advantage. An even greater advantage in this case is when knowledge of what the once anointed cherub is and is doing moves from the fallen finite mind of man and yields to the infinite awareness of God. Truly omnipresent, omniscience, and omnipotence are the ultimate weapons that will suffice in dealing with this ancient but active evil, and only God is and has this. God can and does do total surveillance on this entire dark agenda. Literally, Satan cannot plan or do anything without God's knowing. Is there a satanic master plan, a playbook? Yes. Scripture reveals it is a furious plot in Revelation 12. It is evil in control, 1 John 5. There are global goals, 2 Thessalonians 2. He has never stopped, in Revelation 18. He seeks a more opportune time in Matthew 4. He asks to destroy Christians. He seeks to devour 1 Peter 5. He is a murderer and father of lies, the book of John. There is a sequence of satanic evolution in 1 Thessalonians 2 in Revelation. 
It's not random, but planned. Revelation 19.19 19. He seeks the masses as part of his plan. Psalm 2 Satan has a plan, and it includes you, the world, governments, politicians, militaries, economics, counterfeit doctrine, miracles, prophets, supernatural secrecy, deception, and the coming pinnacle, the anti-counterfeit Christ, Satan in human skin. Daniel, Matthew 24, 1 Timothy 4, 2 Thessalonians 2, 1 John 2, the entire book of Revelation speaks of it. This is only a small part of the biblical revelation. One can start with these scriptures. There will be an eyeful. Do we have even more inside information to this sequence and the evolution of that plan? Yes, we do. This is only a small part of the biblical revelation. The secret power of lawlessness is already at work in accordance with the work of Satan. 2 Thessalonians 2 The ruler of the kingdom of the air is spirit who is now at work in those who are disobedient. Active, willful rebellion against God. Ephesians 2 The primary drive is chaos, the black awakening, and then a new world order. But don't miss the ultimate reason for the chaos. It's for the creation of a new world order. And the only reason for the goal of globalism is political and military development and control. What is this all for? So he can use them in mass. That's Psalm 2 and Revelation 19.19. 19. When Jesus is going to return, he wants to use in mass everyone for when Jesus is going to return. Whether you believe in the second coming or not, Satan knows Jesus is coming. Just like the first time, Revelation 12. All of the political, global, and military might he evolves is for one thing, and one thing in the end. The attempted annihilation of God. Don't lose sight of this as you consider satanic ritual abuse and the millions of victims of mind control and or who is behind it. This is the madness of the satanic agenda. It's what this darkness is all about and leading to. Knowing this ultimate goal will cause you to realize Satan must have a supernaturally controlled military, super soldiers, to have a controlled globalism. As you think over these points in this chapter, my question is, can you track the satanic playbook? The answer is yes, but only with a supernatural hole into this substructure of radical evil. You will need this. A deep knowledge of the biblical and prophetic revelation of God in scripture. An active prayer life to be experienced in the power and work of the Holy Spirit. To know and be involved in the love compelling mission of God. And have a personal knowledge of the one who came to destroy the devil's work, that's 1 John 3. And rescue us, the Savior Jesus Christ. After all, it's not the anti-Buddha, anti-Muhammad, or anti Quetzalcoatl, who's coming to do all this. It's the Antichrist. Finally, God revealed the substructure, activity, and agenda of radical evil in Ezekiel's day. It wasn't so Ezekiel would be amazed or just educated. God reveals radical evil so we can be warned, go to work to stop it, witness to others of God's grace, 
Embrace God and worship Him alone. Engage in spiritual warfare. Trust in the one who fights against radical evil and will end all of evil one day. God reveals the substructure of radical evil, as we have quoted, because the consequences are so terrible. <laughs>